Jeremy and Jamie. Yeah, it's actually, uh, you're looking at Jeff right now. He's working uh, working at this machine here, and it's actually powdered metal into metal parts. And uh, Jeff, why don't you kind of explain a little bit about what you do here. Basically, as I said, turning uh, powdered metal into metal parts and kind of walk us through the process. How does, how does that work? Yes, what we're doing is taking metal powders and compacting them in a rigid steel die to form a net-shaped steel part. The advantage is economics of manufacturing. We can stamp out metal parts faster and, and less expensive than conventional machining processes. The press is uh, running. The feed shield will kick the part out of the way, charge the die with powder. Punches will then compact the component. You can see that we have an intricate part with a lot of detail and features and these are easily attained by powder metallurgy in the compaction process. Cool, and you actually have a visual over here. This is the actual powder that you use to compact the... Uh the metal parts, and, and it's uh, it's very fine powdered steel that will be uh, compacted and uh, form a, a shape of a part. And, so it actually, and you put in the... Um, the metal goes in through the top and then it comes down and like how much pressure is going on to actually compact it into the into the part? Yes, we're compacting the parts at up to 90,000 pounds per square inch. Wow. Which is fairly high pressure. Yeah. And why don't you kind of give us a, uh, a demonstration that it's still in the kind of a powder form. There's still one more process. Wow. There we go. The metal part that you can kind of easily break down. Now, what's the next step after you form the part? We move on to another step. It still needs to go through one more process. The next step in the process will be sintering, and, and during sintering, the metal particles will bond to each other and form a solid steel part. All right, good. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, end here, and then in the next half hour, we'll get to actually see the sintering process. We'll send some of these through, or whatever's going through the sinter at that point. You get to see the next step. So Hey, good morning, Jamie good morning. and Jeremy. All right, well, this time we're looking at uh, the actual sintering process. What are we looking at here, Jeff? We're looking at the parts that are uh, traveling through the sintering furnace and the, the trays. The furnace is uh, running at 2,050 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're, we're baking the parts or uh, forming a solid steel part where the metal particles will actually bond to each other to form a solid steel part. This, Let me see if I can get around here. I wanted to, wanted to show the folks at home this shot here. Maybe we can see, there we go. We can see right into the uh, furnace right there. Kind of a cool shot as they go in and get baked. Baking metal. So what does sintering mean? What is it actually doing there? Sintering is the process of bonding the metal particles together, where we're heating it up close to the melting point, uh, but not losing the shape of the parts. And uh, why don't we talk about what these parts are used for? What various mechanical devices are they founding? Sure. This particular part goes to a, uh, a heister forklift, and it's a, a shifting actuator in the steering column. We, we supply parts to a variety of industries and, and to manufacturers who are making uh, uh, appliances and, and other uh, recreational products or household products. Oh, wow, okay. And uh, what's the difference between how much faster is it to make uh, these type of parts for metal than these, uh, the other processes, machining the parts? Oh, it's, it's significantly faster, and that, that's what allows American manufacturing to have lower cost uh, components to assemble in their uh, in their assemblies. Wow. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. Appreciate you uh, being with us, with us on the show. Pretty interesting process seeing the century. But for now, we'll go ahead and send it back to Jamie and Jeremy.